How's it going, Beast Nation? We're back with some more Pokemon. We're back with another Pokemon LP. But this one is different because this is our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Beast Lock Challenge. Yes, you heard it correctly. Beast Lock Challenge. It is a challenge that I came up with, and I will look up the rules because uh, I don't really remember them too much. <laughs> like, I remember them, right? But. I feel like it'd be good to read them, uh, to read them out. They are in the description below as well. Um, but one thing is, we cannot use the Pokemon Center to heal. We do have free heals, right? We have free heals. Uh, we can use free heals. So like, if our mom heals us, you know, we can use that once, once. Okay, we can use that once. Uh, if uh, a random trainer heals us, we can use that once. You know what I mean? Once. Um, what you call it though? But uh, so the way this works, I decided to combine basketball and Pokemon. One of my two my two favorite things, basketball and Pokemon, combined them together. So that's why you see here right below, well right below me on this side. Sorry, we have beast tickets. Beast tickets uh, are pretty much you know a free heal, or we use one ticket to heal at the Pokemon Center. If you want to get healed at the Pokemon Center, we'll use uh, a beast ticket. Uh, the way we obtain beast tickets is through uh, the game fouls, okay? So yes, if the game fouls us, there's there's three ways the game can foul us. There's one, which is called the com the common foul. So if we get if we get paralyzed, you know any status condition, if we get paralyzed, uh, burn, poison, you know stuff like that, we get one one uh, beast ticket. I mean I mean that's that's one foul. Sorry, that's one foul, not one beast ticket. That's one foul. Every every six fouls is when we get uh, a beast ticket. Uh, so there's the common foul, which is you know any status condition. But the way it works with the uh, confusion and uh, infatuated, right? Whenever your you know Pokemon gets attracted to another Pokemon, uh, when they use attract, right? They're immobilized by love. That's the only way we can get uh, a, that's that's the only way we can get a foul. I mean that's the only way a game the game can foul us if we get uh, immobilized by love. Now, if it uses attract and it infatuate it and it infatuate us, then it doesn't it doesn't and we don't get immobilized by love at all throughout the whole battle. Then it does not count as a foul towards the towards the game. We have to be immobilized by love, and it's the same thing with confusion. If it confuses us, we are not we are not gonna get uh, that's not gonna be a game a game foul. It it'll only be a game it'll only be a game foul if. Um, if we get hit, if we hit ourselves in confusion. And another thing, right? Th this is the longest one, by the way. I know it's taking a while. This is the longest. This is the longest rule, though. Uh, if we use outrage, if we hit ourselves in confusion because of our own doing, like using outrage, then it doesn't count. We're not gonna get a game foul because you know we decided to use a move that could potentially hit us in confusion. You know what I mean? That makes sense. But if the game confuses us and we hit ourselves in confusion. That's a game foul. The game commits one foul. I mean, yeah, one foul because it's a common foul. Uh, if it if it hits if it uses attract on us, it's not the game doesn't commit a foul until we get until we're immobilized by love. Make sense? Okay. So those are, that the the common foul is the longest one. There's also a technical foul. Now, if the game hits us with a critical hit and we live, we get two fouls. The game commits two fouls. The other one is the last one is. A flagrant foul. So when the game commits a flagrant foul, that's when a Pokemon, uh, one of my Pokemon dies to a critical hit. That's when we get three. That's that's when the game commits three fouls. That counts for three. If one of our Pokemon dies to a critical hit, this is taking forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that instead. Um, but if uh, yeah, and then and then again, I I, I put it to remind ourselves. We cannot use a Pokemon Center until uh, the game com commits six fouls, but that's you know unless we have a uh, tickets. I mean that's that's when we don't have tickets, right? That's when we get a ticket. We get a ticket every single time the game commits six fouls, right? Because that's you know in basketball whenever you commit six fouls in the NBA, you're fouled out. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I decided to do six fouls, and we get a we get a, a beast ticket. You know, for a common foul, it's one beast. For uh, for a common foul, it's one foul, right? Technical foul, it's uh, 
two fouls, it counts for two. And a flagrant foul counts for three. If you have any questions, look at the... <clears throat> excuse me. My voice is already dried out. Look at the... Uh, the description below. I'll have the I'll have the rules there. Uh, but let's let's do it. Let's do it, man. I'm excited, dude. Oh man, I was excited for this. Hmm. Looks like the sun is descending in the sky. Pretty sure this is the professor. I think I'm not sure though. Now I've never played. I've never completed this game, by the way, guys. Never completed this game. Just never did. Uh. So this would be what is called Twilight, wouldn't it? Oh, it is Professor Oak. Okay, I thought it was in Professor Elm. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Meryl. I did randomize this thing, so I hope it's randomized. I don't know if it usually shows Meryl, but whatever. We'll find out. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am indeed a boy, man. Yes. I'm a boy. Please, tell me your name. My name is Danny. Now, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I put my name in all caps because when I first started playing Pokemon, I didn't know there was such thing as a lowercase option. You know, like, like in in game. You know, because like like here, right? It showed it all caps. I didn't know there was a way for me to go to the lowercase letters, so I can put capital D, lowercase n, I mean lowercase a and n y. Right? I didn't know that. Plus, I was super excited to just play the game, to play a Pokemon game that I just you know quickly put in D A double N Y, and I click start. <laughs> And I'm, I'm also used to it already because, you know, like when it says Danny like that, you know what I mean? Like in the little text. I know the, I know, the, I know they're talking to me, you know what I mean? Because it stands out because it's all caps. Are you ready? Your very own tale of, your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Dope. By the way, I, I, I just realized this, you know, this is a new LP, I didn't even do like much of introductions. But you know, for those of you guys again who are new, hello, my name is Danny, or Dan, Beast, any of those names are fine with me. Or Daniel is, is fine with me as well. Um, I tend to scream a lot sometimes, right, I can scream. Uh, I do speak relatively loudly. I apologize if I hurt your ears. Um, I'm not very good at Pokemon, but I like to have fun with Pokemon, and I absolutely love Pokemon. And if you're new to the channel, Click subscribe, look at the other content that we have here for you guys, and I hope you enjoy. If you don't, then that's totally fine. YouTube is such a big platform, I'm sure you'll find another content creator that fits your needs. But I appreciate you, I appreciate the stop by. I was gonna do it! Hi Danny, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra, I forgot, we have a we have a female, uh a female what you call it? Rival, Jesus. Your friend Lyra, which is here. She was playing hide and seek with her marrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask you. You know where the, where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have any, everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Oh, I forgot the... I don't really like the... The thing that we have here. I don't know. The, the bottom screen. I don't like how it looks too much. Personally. But hurry up. Yes, we're getting all these things. We're getting all those things. I don't care right now. I really want to see my starter, though. That's what I really want to see. Meryl, huh? Freaking hearing aid, dude. It's weird. All right. Yeah, sure. Don't don't come say hi. It's cool. Whatever. Jeez. How rude. Oh man, we have no running shoes. Wow. Well, I have to deal with it, I guess. Hi, Annie. Lures upstairs. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. You didn't bring your uh, Pokemon? Oh, uh, I should have known. You don't have your own Pokemon yet. Well, I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, Danny. Wow. Well, balls to you, dude. I'm gonna get my Pokemon in just a bit. Danny, 
Professor Elma's looking for you. Did you go to his lab? No, I'm gonna go to the lab in a bit, but I'm gonna explore. Because again, I've never completed this game. I don't think I've ever went to the first gym. And if I did, then fine, that's the furthest I went. I went to the first gym, but that's it. Yo, Daddy! I hear Professor Elma discovered some new Pokemon! Alright. So who's this then? Who are you, girl? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. This fact was discovered by Professor Elm. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Uh, I wish you could be a researcher like him. I hope you will. I truly hope you reach your, your goal. But yes, oh, I don't think I mentioned, right? I gave ourselves two beast tickets just to start off with. Because, well, I don't know how many we're going to need. I like your bag. Well, thank you. Oh yeah, this dude. Uh, this uh, dude. So this is the, so this is the famous Professor Elm Poke Lab. What are you staring at? Oh, wow, dude. All right. I guess we get tossed around like nothing. We're a rag doll or something. Oh man, I'm stronger than this. I me, mean, I'm, I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. All right, dude. Now this dude's turn. Hi, Jai. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk around with Pokemon. Just like your friend Leon does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with them must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk, can you walk beside this Pokemon? Outside of its Pokeball to see it. If it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh, I was about to say, that's it? Really? It was pretty fast. <laughs> oh no, mom. Oh hey, I got an email. Alright, okay, okay. I forgot, I gotta put fast text, man, Jesus. Hey listen, I have, an, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He, find, he keeps finding weird things and writing about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. <clears throat> my throat, dude. That kind of hurts my throat a little bit. <sighs> it's probably just another Pokemon egg. But we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Alright, dope. We're going to see your startup. Now, this is not a choose my start episode. I'm choosing my Pokemon, alright? I'm choosing my Pokemon. What the? Okay, I got confused. I'm not even joking right now. I was like, what? Why? It didn't randomize? But I'm a, I'm a big dummy. Torchic is not in this game. <laughs> Torchic is third gen. <laughs> but alright, dope, dope, awesome. That's good. That's good to know that, you know, there's. So it does go all the way up to fourth gen. That's fine. Awesome. Because, you know, it is a fourth gen game, but I, I just wasn't sure. If it did that, you know what I mean? Well, that's cool. Torchic? Oh! So it's Volbeat, Dragonair, Torchic! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I'm so giddy, dude. Oh, I'm excited. It's just a dragon or such a... I have to pick it, I don't care. <laughs> what am I saying? Looks like Dragonite, the dragon type Pokemon? Duh! A duh! Oh my god! I can have a Dragonite following me. I can have a Dragonite following me! Yes. Yes. How fitting that we get our beast. We get our beast. Our mascot. I mean, well, Dragon is not our mascot, right? But it's gonna evolve into our mascot. So, yeah. Beast. Yes. I'll take a beast. I gotta really find out a nickname for them. I wouldn't even like Pearl, because Pearl's a very good name, but I'm just like, mm. Is Beast a nickname I don't want to give? <clears throat> I, can't, I, can't, I can't keep the voice, dude. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You could take it all the way to the Pokemon Mission Pokemon house and stuff. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on the desk. On my desk. 
See, I feel like I changed the voice, but I don't really care anymore. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds its rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north, a little past Cherry Grove City. I'm counting on you, Dad. Alright. Dope! Oh, what do you what do you want? Then you want you to have these help you with your task? A potions. I was hoping for some running shoes. But I guess. Actually, let me put on the thing. Where is it? Uh how do I do it? Oh, X. So is this X? No, this is X then, okay. Um options, yes. Fast, please, because Jesus. And let's change the frame too, might as well. What do we use? That might just lay out a little bit. Do we have another type of blue though? That one goes okay too. Ooh, this one goes really nice actually. So 13. I really like 13. Nah. Yeah, 13. Okay, 13 it is. Because it was 13 and then this one goes. Nah, yeah, 13. I like 13. 13. 13 is good. Perfect. Perfect. Dope, man. So we got our starter already. What do you want, Lyra? Ugh. Dang. I'm bringing it to the pub. Danny! So you picked a Dragonair? That's so cute! Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya! Alright, I guess. See, Miro, Miro likes my Pokemon. I wonder if she actually doesn't. She probably doesn't, right? I wonder if she actually has a Miro, right? I, w I was about to say, I wonder, does he... It follows you inside, right? It does. It's because I wasn't sure if it was just in the Pokemon lab. Oh, Danny! That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, did you say? What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Awesome, a Poke Gear. <clears throat> uh, I forgot to read the beginning, so I don't remember what you said. Or Poke Gear, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Well, I'm sure I rem yes, I remember how. I was about to say, I'm sure I should remember if you know. It was in the repair shop. There was obviously something wrong with it. But I had it in my possession. Jeez. Jesus. I don't think we talked to this girl. Well, too bad. I have one. You know what? I'm gonna go show it to the dad. Where is he? Look, dude. I have a Pokemon now. What? Look, dude. Look at my Pokemon. Hi, Danny. Lure's upstairs. She's playing with the Pokemon game as usual. Yeah, so you have nothing to say now, huh? See, I got my own Pokemon. Become Pokemon Master. Oh my god. Oh, oh wait a second. <laughs> I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Freaking weird. I don't want an old man's number. I want Pokeballs. We don't have Pokeballs, right? Do we? We don't have Pokeballs, do we? I don't think we do. I don't, I don't remember being given Pokeballs. Nope, we don't. So no Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke has not begun yet. Okay, the Nuzlocke has not begun yet. But we could see... What we could obtain. Actually, let's check out. Let's, what am I doing? No, I, I, I need to change this to X because it's getting very annoying. Summary. Okay. Naughty nature. That's actually pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Twister. Okay, good. He starts off with Twister. I don't mind that at all, dude. And he has Thunder Wave. Oh, bro, we're going to be catching Mons. And he has Rap. Bro, we're catching Mons. We're going to be catching Mons for days. We should have running shoes, though. Are we not going to see what we're going to get? Jesus. Let's come up here. It's getting annoying how I have no running shoes, though. Okay, so we can get a potential Wurmple. I hope not. Let's see how much this does to Wurmple, though. Okay, it doesn't kill. At least you know it can, you know, not kill. I guess that's good. And I know I cannot two-shot it because low roll, high roll is the thing. Okay, dope! That's that's a good encounter. I mean, I'm kind of scared to get it though because if you don't catch it, that's kind of it's kind of going to be a downer. But wow, an Entei. So when, I like, and I love how it goes from Wurmple to Entei. Jeez. Such a drastic, you know, difference. 
Hey, here, yeah, in Route 29? I think this is Route 29, right? You can get a, either a Wurmple or... Hey, look, an Entei! <laughs> any one of these mods, any one of these mods you can get, man. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I think I actually have to go through here, right? Yeah. So I have to go up here. I have to. I have no choice. Hurry up. Nah, that's a good encounter as well. I wouldn't mind that either. I'm gonna do another one, though. I'm gonna try to get at least a level. Because I gotta remember, I put this up by 6%. So the levels have been increased. Wow, there's Volbeat here too. I guess it's a good thing I didn't get a Volbeat. Because, you know, I could get it here as my first encounter. Oh no, so, oh, it's this way. Okay, my bad. Silly me. You were trainer? Bro, beak it? Is this another route? Can we go through here? Bro, so we can't route 46. Route 29. I was right in being, with it being 29. So that's two encounters straight off the bat, straight off the gate, that we can potentially get. And then Cherry Grove City, and I'm pretty sure there's, there's another route up ahead. So that's three encounters that, we're gonna, that we'll get. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't mean it. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then follow me. Oh, we get running shoes too! Yes! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot that you were wearing the running shoes. I try to slow down as possible to try try keeping up. This is a Pokemon, sir. They heal with your Pokemon in any time. Well, not not in this, not in this beast lock. Nope, not not in this beast lock, man. That's not how it works. Well, I guess we have two, right? We only have two, though. I gotta remember. I gotta remember. I gotta be careful with my PP too, because that's a, that's that's a thing. Okay, it's okay. <sighs> It'll be tough, man. <laughs> they sell Pokeballs and catch for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Route 30 is out that way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Nice, a nice way to let us know that Mr. Pokemon's over there. And then Cherry Grove right here to, you know, to get a fishing encounter potentially. This is the sea, as you can see. And I see what you did there, dude. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. Here's which is my house. For your effort for keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Ugh. Nasty. I don't want that, dude. Got you. Didn't I? Don't worry. These are brand new. Okay, I sure hope so. Jeez. Yeah, I actually did. I was like, oh, that's nasty. That's dope. We can run. We can now run. Oh, bro, that's true. We can... Oh, whatever shows up. I <laughs> had my mouth. <laughs> but yeah, we can just have it so that, you know, anywhere we go, like, we can... Oh, that's dope, bro. They gotta bring that back. They gotta bring this auto-running thing back. I have a dope, so we go to Mr. Pokemon. Alright. So the next thing we'll do is go to Mr. Pokemon's house. I can't remember, we can't heal. We can't heal. Oh, I'm so used to like healing and then ending off the episode. But we can't, because that used to be a beast ticket. Alright, alright, dope. That's not the freaking. I gotta change the, the buttons on this thing. But I'm gonna end the episode off you guys already. If you guys enjoyed and if you guys are excited for our brand new uh, LP with a brand new uh, Nuzlocke challenge. If you guys are excited with this beast lock challenge just as much as I am because I'm stupid excited I'm dumb excited for this uh, beast lock challenge man and maybe in the future I'll, I'll, add, I'll add in a couple of other things but you know this is the first time that I you know do that I implement the beast lock into this into Pokemon right so maybe in the future we'll come up with some new rules potentially to add more basketball rules you know more basketball aspects um, more basketball rule aspects into this and we'll see what happens, man. We'll see where this where this series goes, man. But I'm excited for this. I'm really, really am excited for this. And I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. If you are, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below your thoughts. And if you have any questions, comment down below. The rules for the Beast Lock are down in the description. So are the Nuzlocke rules. Oh, by the way, yes, we are doing the same. The Nuzlocke rules stay the same, you know, whatever. I forgot to, I forgot to mention that. I love, how, I love how I'm mentioning that in the end of the, of the episode. But yeah, we're going to you guys already. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.